Rain on Your Parade is a fun and comedic indie game that takes the gameplay formula of Untitled Goose Game, but applies it to a storm cloud. Imagine being a cloud that just rains on the worst people. Well that's this game. It's cheesy, corny, but boy does it put a smile on my face. Rain on Your Parade is available on Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC this week. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe hit the bell icon, and share the video with your friends if you found the video useful. Now let's get into the review, starting with the story. If you come into Rain on Your Parade looking for the next narrative masterpiece, then you'll be setting yourself up for disappointment. Instead, Rain on Your Parade is a self-aware joke that throws out any sense of reality out the window. The story opens up with the parent telling their kid about a cloud that would go on to ruin people's days. That very cloud is us, a cute cardboard cutout clown appropriately named Cloudy. Our job is to go around Earth ruining bad people's days. It's simple, the story is a little dumb, but boy is it charming. Along the way I came across a giant cloud that's been around since the Honey Badger memes, and a frog who you might remember from the early retro video game era. There's a handful of references here that I'll let you find out for yourself, but they range from video games to TV shows, and despite how simple they were, they made me laugh and smile the moment I realized them. Rain on Your Parade ranges across 50 levels that'll have you raining on farms, weddings, offices, military bases, and so on. At its heart, it's a puzzle game that gives you objectives to rain on. Missions have a star ranking on them that score you on completing the main objectives that are required to move on in the campaign. However, there are also side objectives that improve your score and unlock new accessories for the cloud. This is where some of the replay value comes in. You can customize your cloudy with accessories from a hat to a guitar they can hold. I went with this froggy on my head, which was just one of the many cute options I could unlock. You can even draw your own unique face on cloudy, but I was a bit disappointed with how the but I was a bit disappointed with how that controlled on Switch. You'd think being on the Nintendo Switch the game would let you draw with the touchscreen? Instead I had to use the right analog stick to draw a face, and it just felt weird. Obviously there are better control options, at least for the Nintendo Switch and PC, so why not utilize them? Now, throughout the 50 levels there were plenty of great levels, some easy, some challenging, but there wasn't a pattern or any consistency between them. I'd find myself coming across a handful of levels that could be finished in under a minute with little to no challenge, and then suddenly I'd be presented with a mission that left me with the challenging objective that required a few tries. While I would've liked more challenging levels in general, I would've loved for there to be some sort of gradual increase in difficulty, because this just falls all over the place. The difficulty varies from raining on everybody on the map to a multi-step one that requires exploding a chemistry set at a school while trying to wrangle up students into a classroom. The multi-step objective ones were always a treat, but also left me wanting more. Later levels do at least introduce new abilities and types of liquids. Being a cloud, you can absorb evaporation from other liquids, from acid, coffee, and more. The new liquids occasionally introduce new attributes, like oil being able to spread wildfires instead of just putting them out. It's a clever way to introduce some variety to the objectives. Alongside that are the new abilities that you can unlock over time, like the ability to shoot lightning, destroying the impenetrable rain shields that are umbrellas. I played my review copy on Nintendo Switch, and for the most part, it played well on Nintendo's handheld. Performance in handheld mode runs at 720p 30 frames per second, while it hits 900p 30 frames per second in dock mode. Those targets aren't locked though, at least when it comes to resolution. Some levels like this concert one drop the resolution a bit to keep the performance consistent, but it does come at the cost of sharpness. Nevertheless, the cute and charming art style holds its appeal regardless. Running on the Unity engine, it has a simplistic art style to it, but I've never been one to mind it. It's adorable in my eyes, and along with the dorky writing, it often got a chuckle out of me. It does seem like some more optimization could have been done though. Load times are short, but are frequent between levels, and there's the occasional popping at the corners of the screen that kept distracting me. Rain on Your Parade features an upbeat soundtrack that has a retro theme to it. To me, it sounds like something I'd hear in a 2D pixel platformer for the iPhone back in 2011. Shout out to those of you that played Pizza Boy back on the iPhone 4S. It's not necessarily great, but not terrible. It's alright and fitting to the upbeat nature of the game. Rain on Your Parade is a fun and charming puzzle game that left me wanting more. Sadly, it's not because it's so amazing that I just wanted more of it, but rather because it felt like there was a great idea here, but wasn't entirely executed well. There's a lot of ideas here with the potential to be fleshed out, and the less challenging levels I think could have been better laid out, with a lot less of them. Nevertheless, I did enjoy playing, and if you can grab this on sale, I think it'll be worth playing on a lazy weekend. It's pretty entertaining. Thanks so much for watching my review. What do you think about Rain on Your Parade? Does it seem like something you'd enjoy, or do you think it needs a bit more depth to its content? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, I gotta get back to playing Emily is Away 3, and stay tuned for that review because it'll be out later this week. But until then, I'll see you in the comments down below, or over on the Discord server.